right, and as normal, CFC in uh, dark blue shirts, light blue shorts, communications all in white. So uh, for those of you watching in black and white, they're the ones in white. There you go. <laughs> the 2019 Chattanooga FC season has begun. The season's finally off. I waited so long for this. Ah, oh, at last, at last. I know you are home the same way. It's like finally, and. Uh, Little stream is starting out a bit of a press. Hope you're all uh, enjoying this tonight. Uh, as it's unusual, we start normally at 7.30 tonight. It's just after 6 Eastern. So uh, some of you may uh, not miss the start of this. Hope you do join us. And the weather could us. not be better. Oh, it's great. Woodfin it's, tries to get a ball out towards Hockey great. Bio, but it's cut out. I think the uh, start time is throwing quite a few people off because there's still a huge queue outside waiting to get tickets. Um, there's a lot of people waiting to come in the stadium. Really, it's filling up nicely. But uh, we'll bring you some figures on that later on. In mind of the captain. Communicaciones looks like to be in the back three tonight. Cut out by Degoya. Immediately lost. Goya had closed down quick, but could not take the ball away. You were saying about Communicaciones being in mid-season, you can tell they're a little bit sharp already. Just a little bit yeah. first of the ball. And a great great defensive play by Lars Wums to, um, yeah. to block the cross and knock it out for a CFC goal kick. With, with the Los Cremas press, it looks like we're just going to kick it long here. I think so. You can see Premus holding the offside line very strongly. They're very experienced at that too. They're not going to let anybody slide by. I, uh, I, I wonder uh, how early CFC will be able to get a ball down the right-hand side. I do want them to. I mean, obviously they'll try, but we'll see if uh, they can do that. Let's see. Bio out to McKenzie. Can McKenzie bring it in? Is he going to run out of space? Yeah, dispossessed, but nice try there. Montel McKenzie is a uh, two-year player at Chris Cincinnati Christian University, uh, just transferred this semester to Tennessee Wesleyan University, where he'll be coached by CFC legend uh, Luke Winter. I know that name. You've called that name a few times <laughs> Once last, or twice, uh, yeah. the last few years. It's out for a goal kick. CFC is not going to just sit back and try to defend deep, they're out ready to press. Well, they're going to push and they want to impress the coach. And uh, yeah, I mean, hey, if you can score against a team of this caliber, remember last year when we got goals against Lousy United, it's like, whoa, we scored on the big boys. So, you know, why would you not do it? Yeah. Yeah, Second's like <laughs> famous goal against FC Dallas yeah. and Juan Hernandez's goal against National SC. Exactly, you know, hey, if we can take points off the big teams, then who knows what can happen tonight. Well, Scream is going to keep a little possession. I mean, that's why we watch football for the upsets. You know, we get the, the games we expect to win, get, get one, but not that upset. With, you know, Scotland and Kazakhstan last night in the internationals, and they got hammered by Kazakhstan. It's like, you never know with not soccer. A, not a great that's start. What we both watch it, don't we? Not a great we? start to Scotland's yeah. European, European Cup call. That, that's why Matt and I watch soccer, and I think most of you at home do too, for the same reasons. <laughs> Imana. Out of Samoya. Yeah. See, our, our man is really the anchor of the, the, mid, the back there. He's holding it in the middle position, like you know, the deep Kent, midfielder. Cuts out the long ball. Let's see how, how sharp Genki Chattanooga are here. Yeah. Genki Miachi was on the ball just oh, then. Oh, bad control there. They must get the chance to get it away, but good recovery. Nice great, teamwork. Great recovery from yeah, Nasser nice teamwork. And he draws the foul. Yeah, good play. Genki Miyashi mentioned for just a second, uh, professional player from Japan, mm -hmm. uh, played in the J-League 2, uh, spent the off-season, or the preseason, I should say, on trial with Nashville SC, but ultimately did not make the roster, uh, and joins us in camp this weekend. Uh, he's one of many trialists on the field right now, hoping to, hoping to impress the coaching staff and earn a roster spot for the, for the season. And they'll try can't just yeah, like trying to get the ball through there. Pretty much anticipating that nice through there, trying to break. Coming down the right side. Deep ball in the box. That's a nice ball, one touch. And it's over the oh, ball. Oh, but a good move. Get right behind the defense. 
A little bit more dangerous. CFC didn't close down the close down the counterattack quick that's enough. And uh, allowed a, a lot of time. For that's definitely a pre-season lack of sharpness. And they didn't see that coming. And I think later in the season they would have caught that. But it's good ball. And against good teams, good balls will will beat you. If you're every not time they'll get you past the defense. Every time and often in the back of the net. So. You can hear the Chattahooligans Hooligans in full voice already. It's like Absolutely. the offseason never affected them. Pretty much. Came back, uh, they used to say in school, we're like giants refreshed. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> much folks are on possession here. Not rushing, looking for a gap, but they don't see one. They're not. Uh, Still, just still hoofing token, it, taking still their time. Still pressure from That's CFC. That's right. That's right. The ball was deflected by. He was. By nice. number fourteen, Hakim Kubaya. Dream is still with possession. Yeah. Nice. Nice touches. It's taken yeah. away by Miyachi. Yeah, he played good there. That was good. Costa got the ball. Advantage is being played. Lays it off to Cam Woodfin. That's what we saw. He goes him. out wide. That's nice. Him. Too strong. No, he's keeping it in. He's kept it in. Some skill moves. Gets the cross, cross in. in. No one there to touch him. It's pushed out for a for a corner. So first corner of the game at CFC. Let's see if they got something they've been drilling on in practice. You can make something out of the corner, but a nice little move. And Hakim Kabaya is going to go over to take the corner kick. Let's see how many numbers CFC commits forward for this corner. Uh, looks like both center backs are out. Uh, and so is the right back, Lars Williams, uh, who's 6'2 or 6'3. Yep, he's a big guy. Let's see how they do. The keeper's got the sun in his eyes yeah. here. Let's see. Oh, and he's come straight to it. Good catch. And uh, stays calm and says, that's it. And that moves over. On draw move. And and McKenzie Whoa, comes across good header. from left back. That could have been dangerous. That had gone through. He had been eyeing that one the whole way. He'd have been way. away, wouldn't he? Off to the races, and uh, that was good. It's, it's good alert play yep, from, the, from the young Tennessee Wesleyan men. Nice steal. And again, Kremlis recovery. Sanchez recovers yeah. the Miyashi. Kind of loops it forward. Sanchez trying to beat it forward and yeah, Kramer's keeping possession. CFC has struggled to, to maintain any sort of they get, they possession for, for any length of time. They are getting here. Yeah, touches but not two or three touches at once. There is a foul on Cam. Yeah. Okay, Woodfin draws the foul. It was a good header. Uh, in the previous sequence by number six, Ruben Marias, uh, the center back. Marias hails from Pamplona, Spain. Uh, just finished his eligibility at Lenore Ryan University. Right. Kabayo so right again. Now. Nice outside. touch. Oh, Woodfin can't. Can. The ball gets deflected. and Woodfin doesn't get the break there. See deep in the box, the but the keeper's there. He says thank you, picks it up, and throws it back out in the play. CFC looks pretty compact still, and in the midfield especially, it's not a lot of room to operate. They are, aren't they? They're uh, Marias comes forward. This is mainly a, a midfield game so far. Most of the action has been in the centre, the third of the field. Castle's making a move down the left-hand side, trying, trying to get in. in. Nobody home. He gets clipped, but he throws the ball away. Using that speed he had last season, he's so quick. Costa speed is a game changer for for CFC. He really has, not uh, he? If you can get him in behind with an unsuspecting defense, and with Kimi Castellani is having a high, playing a high line. There's a reasonable chance of that happening. Out to the far side. So Christian Alexis Hernandez was tying his shoe for a second. And it's by Nice skill there. 
Cuts the pass out. out. Initial pass the Kramer's anticipation is it's a sharp up they're seeing where you, the ball's going to go. You can, you can tell, tell they're, they're in the they really are. They're sharp and they're, they're anticipating really well. Yeah. But again, that's Kinsley nice. With the slide tackle. Nice slide tackle that goes out. And that ball's out of play for a goal kick. For a goal kick. Yeah, so the, the defence is still stepping up and doing a good job and not letting them get a shot in, really. We played 10 minutes, still nil nil. What have you seen so far in these first 10 minutes? I've seen, I mean, Chandler is still trying to get their shape right. Uh, obviously, they practice together, but Cremus are making them, you know, keep their shape. Uh, both teams taking it steady, not rushing, uh, not trying to get too exposed. Again, there's that long ball we were talking about. The keeper's way out to get it. Doesn't Makes get a mistake, there. takes awesome. the shot. Oh, that hits the keeper. Real shit. Oh, no. oh, could have been a great goal there. Just saying they were playing it safe. Then Chuck knew he'd get two shots in. And the keeper was able to block him, luckily. But yeah, Walshry nearly got the, got the opening goal there if he'd been a bit calm and lobbed it. So <laughs> slamming it, that was an interesting chance. I tell you what, against, uh, <laughs> against a, a first division professional team, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta take those kind of chances. Oh, sure. Come. You may not get many. Because, you know. Clemmas are just, yeah, they're, they're compact and they're, they're sharp and they know what they're doing. Um, but yeah, they're waiting to see what Chattanooga can do because they've, you know, they've heard about Chattanooga, they've probably scouted the videos and watched them playing. Yes. So they're waiting to see, you know, Rise with the what they need to do to, to, to stifle them out. So, but yeah, early on, it's again the usual thing of both teams feeling each other out a little bit and not, not pushing as hard as they might in a, in a, a league game because it's a, it's a friendly. Miyachi on the ball now. It's a nice deep ball again. We'll get Kremis up to it. Move up the field and reset. Yeah, we, that's nice. We keep keep pushing up. It's a throw in under the uh, under the nose of the hooligans. It'll be Lars Will. Lars Will. I'm staking it. Into Caballo. Ooh. And Degoy is asking for a foul, but he's not going to go. Both, well, fact, both players did a bit of <laughs> a bit of both of them. You know, one start, the other one laid back into him. So it's uh, nothing too serious there. Both teams set. going for that long ball rather than the build-up. They're both trying to bypass the midfield and play the long ball over. This is just from Comunicaciones. What have they got? Miyachi with a good tackle. Nice. Stop play. Nice. But Caballo cannot control. And Los Grimas has the ball back but gives it cheaply away. That was Ryan's a bad giveaway. Out. And he's got Chattanooga to get into space. He wants him and takes him. Nice ball. Plays, plays the ball and, uh, Oh, taken down in the box, no penalty. Ref plays on play. Bill Shirai just could not. Hooligans howling for a foul for that one for a penalty. But... Caballo fighting on the, on yeah. the near sideline. And uh, back to the keeper, calming things down a bit. CFC shape has stayed pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. Nice and compact. They're forcing, they're forcing the Comunicaciones to play over the top more than more than not. Uh, they've shown good anticipation to uh, to read those balls. Yeah, and they're staying on. They're making them pass. They aren't just sitting back. They're putting pressure on them. So they have to do something. They're not just sitting back and waiting for them to come to them. So that's a good thing to do too. Nice long ball, but again anticipated there by McKenzie. It's out of bounds. It's good. People still streaming in at a very big queue at the ticket office. So, uh, stadium is filling up very nicely. 
when, uh, when, when the official attendance and the numbers are announced, I'm sure the. Uh, hey, well, that is pretty, pretty good. Pretty, nice it's pretty good, yeah. Oh, and Woodfin, whoa, Woodfin waiting for that one. And... I'm curious to see what the referee does here. A lot of climbing there. The referee's having a word. He's walking to Samoya. He did come in pretty hard, but then Woodfin was waiting for the, waiting for the ball to go into it, so any you know, defender would try and win the ball first. They so. restart. Nobody hurt. Like, Woodfin can't get it. Nobody through. hurt, so that's all right. Ice cream is attacking now with some numbers. Marias blocks that. There's the shot. And D'Amico straight, straight to D'Amico's arms there. Go out to Lars with it. Sanchez. And the ball, and again. Dagoya is second to the ball. Communication is just getting the numbers where they need them to. Ducking and diving here, trying to get the shot off. Nice play. Ramirez, nice play. Deep into the box. Miachi heads it out, but not very far. I think Castellano is the most really serious attack here. See what they've got to do. Hernandez out to the top of the Plenty box. of space. And again, McKenzie, McKenzie again. Out. And again, Jeff look at that. Steals the ball. Now he's got three on him. Still gets around. Look at him go. Look at him go. Go on, Joe. Come on. Here we go. Have a shot. Go on, lad. And it's oh, it's saved by the keeper. There we go. Joao Costa goes from the other side of the 18, all the way down the field, beats three guys. That's why we just, love watching him. Just can't quite. First, the ball first past the serious shot from Janouga there, and second corner of the game. And Hakim Kabaya will go over to take it. Crowd love that one. The noise they're making. It was almost. From certain angles, like it's about to go into the goal, with the keeper touched it away. If it was just the Chattahooligan standing up there uh, at, at the start, there are a few more. Yeah, but he's joining him. Join That's how it works. Fire <laughs> readies. Emperor's up in the box. Just about every player up there. Oh, Heather. oh, and so close to the right-hand post. Corner. Was that Miachi going for that one? Miachi was going for it. I thought he was. I, I, thought, yeah. he, I thought he made connection, but it yeah. must have been deflected out. Just trickling All right. the goal. Corner number three. <laughs> Go short. Goes short to Costa. Lays it back to Caballo. Chips it in. Seven Who's on the end? The post. Oh, the keeper's there first. Good Great punch. Good save for the keeper. And now there could be a counter on. Although it's the slowest breaking corner, or it was a fairly slow count. count I've ever seen. <laughs> Los Grimas will reset. What a great night for soccer in Chicago. Oh, isn't it perfect? Miyachi with the takeout. It's really great. Can't slip it through. Flores, back to Miyagi. Really working well together, the defense. Plays it forward. They'll try visibly a little frustrated with. Mm -hmm. I'll get, I'll get in the service the and the space and, the and yeah, yeah. That's part of the part of the struggles of being a striker with a brand a brand new team in two days to practice. Well, that's it. Yeah. Tomiko is going to keep that in. Screamers don't appear to be very. A little early to put pressure on him right now. So they know how to save the energy for the for the entire match. Nico's going to draw him in. Sanchez back on Delars and Sanchez again. And miscommunication oh, there. Definitely miscommunication there. Those are the kind of things that happen when you. Oh yeah. When you practice twice. They're gonna get Miyachi for a foul there. A bit low for a header about 
foot off the ground, but okay, I mean, you know. Oh, the referee's got the magic spray, and he's gonna use it. This is a, an official FIFA international friendly. That's right. So we have a FIFA referee? We have, we have FIFA referees. Oh, okay. This is, a pretty, this is a pretty dangerous free kick opportunity for Los Cremas. And they've only, they only have two people back. Yeah, and the keeper's up in the center circle too. Let's see what they do. It must be one of their set pieces. Let's see what they got. Swinging in, it in touch. near post. Well, that's Ruben Marias. Yeah, he got with there the first. header out of play for he a got, corner. Got there first. That's okay. So Creamers get their first corner of the game. Let's see how they take their corners. Only one person back now. Comes the corner. And it's right in the box. To make it have something on it. Cost heads it away. Juan Sanchez. Yeah, again, he usually straight sets cost. Is that Costa there? Uh, no. Yes, that's Costa's position. Costa's up top. <laughs> there he is. Okay. They switched around again. They do that and they confuse us up in the box because they move positions most and we don't of, like, where do they go? <laughs> most of the CFC players are able to play. They're going to rotate, aren't they? That's on. right. Uh, that was Degoya that tried to play a ball into Costa. Okay. Out wide. Kids is going to choose, take the runner, stop yeah. the ball. And he's trying to find space for a shot. Lifted over. Shipped in the box, but still out of block. danger. Deep in the box and on top of the roof of the net. So. Out for a goal kick. Interesting play. A little bit faster, a little bit more urgency now. We've there been going 20 minutes. Well, the stream is certainly starting to pick up the play a little bit. They are, bit. aren't they? It's looking good. It's enjoyable to watch. As a neutral, you certainly be enjoying this. It's, uh, it's just good soccer. Didn't think it was going to take this long. And Woodfin getting knocked around in the head is there. <laughs> That's a couple times now. He is, isn't he? He's side. Getting, a, getting a few bumps there. Costa's going to send it back to Marais. He'll play it across to Miyachi. Down to Lars and right back. Again, Kronos' anticipation is good, but uh, and draws the foul. There's a foul on Degoya there. Uh, CFC will have the free kick, which is played short and quick to Sanchez. Communicaciones is in a back five when defending. Yeah, they got a very really strong back line, haven't they? And then they'll spring, they'll spring they, their wide backs out. They will, and they not, also... Not dissimilar to a formation CFC played a lot in 2017. That's right. They're also very good at watching the offside trap. And they'll probably spring that if uh, CFC play the long ball, they'll probably push forward rather than back and let it go offside. Yeah. I'm sure they know how to do that. I've seen a couple times that a ball will get served in by Los Cremas and Montel McKenzie on the far, on the far side is able to, to grab it mm -hmm. and send it out of play. Tukoya just got beat there. Another long ball. Whoa, that that's was, a miscue. <laughs> Where's that going to go? Phil D'Amico cleans it up and takes the uh, pulse rate down a little bit there. That was a bit... Uh, mm -hmm. bit, of a, bit of a nervy mm -hmm. moment. Ruh-ro! <laughs> the CFC back line. It was, so... Zemeco's going to go long again. 24 minutes played, yeah. no goals. No goals, but that's okay. And if you're unfamiliar with uh, Communicaciones, uh, or as their nickname is Los Cremas, which is what we're referring to them as tonight, because our Spanish is so bad. Um, the, uh, they really are quite a powerhouse in Guatemalan soccer. They've won 30 national championships. That's 30 national championships since they were formed in 1949 from uh, two other teams in Guatemala City. And they've also uh, 
had six consecutive national titles, one after the other. So uh, this is not a team to be trifled with. <laughs> Late, the, the past couple of seasons, they've not kind of risen to the level that, right. that the standard that their fans demand. Uh, That's right. Currently, they're sitting in fifth place mm -hmm. uh, out, of, out of 12 teams in the Guatemala Premier League. Right. So this is an opportunity to reset and to travel out of the country for a little bit. That's right. It's, it's a good opportunity for both teams to get some playing time in. So. Not sure I can't get it to Kabaya there. Scrimmage goes over the top, and McKenzie's there to head the ball away, but only as far as West Scrimmage midfielder. Again, Chanuga breaking up the play. Just breaking up the play there. I'm enjoying seeing that. It's a good sign they're not overawed and not standing back. Go, these guys are pros. You know, they're they're just playing them like the other team. It's really good. It's been a been a relatively even contest so, so far. I'm waiting for someone to set it off and one team starts to break away from the other, but so far you're right, it's pretty level. Oftentimes these games uh, turn on an individual moment. We'll see We'll see who has that That's right. minute of brilliance. They can turn on a break or a, or a penalty kick or something, and then you know, after that it just completely goes one way. Sanchez goes back to the back line. Lars is going to play it, trying to go to Caballo, but it's cut out for a CFC throw it. We've mentioned Lars Willems a lot mm -hmm. in that uh, in that right back position. He actually played for Houston Duck Lions in 2016 against CFC. That's right. In the NPSL. In that big long cup run we had. In the NPSL, yeah. I believe it was the uh, South Regional Final. Yep. They we met all those guys, the Dutch guys who uh, had the teams going out there. And they're very nice people. They were very keen on soccer and very knowledgeable. The they're a good team players. That's good, a good nice move. He's out now. See if can play that. See if he can get around him. He's because he got. He got a target. Nope. Dispossessed, but. And it's out to Cam Woodfin. Cam Can't get the shot through. Blocked nicely. Back to Costa. And out for a throw. Good pressure from the CFC there. You want to throw deep in the uh, Communicaciones half. Great move out by midfield. Yeah, it was good. Montel move. McKenzie to get past good. the defender. And Slight Down miscommunication of both of them going for the same ball. But once they realised that, they uh, recovered it and keep the pressure on. So let's see what CFC have got now. McKenzie sends this towards Vilshire Eye, but not quite far enough. Costa. Costa taking the shot. Snap shot, but ducks over the top of the bar and goes, goes past three. Goal kick. But again, Chattanooga taking the snap shots when they get a chance. I haven't seen... Communication is doing the same thing at their end yet. CMC is slight, slight lead in shots right now. Mm -hmm. Although nothing shots and corners, but no goals. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we know, there's no points for leading on shots and goals. So, on, on corners, rather. <laughs> Woodfin can't get it through and it's taken out. Oh, headed off a large right in the face. And referee is going to call the foul. Fourth power. I thought they were going to play the advantage there, but they didn't. Ignacio so, de Goya with his. Yeah, Hernandez getting, the, getting the knock. So, pulled up a little bit there. I think he'll run that off. Looks like he's in a bit of distress there. Let's see if he can walk that off or not. Yeah, that might be a little worrying. Well, they've got a good bench. They've got, uh, what have they got? Seven guys on the bench? So they should be okay. Chattanooga's bench is packed. Obviously, yeah, we're, we're expecting uh, no official confirmation, but we're expecting uh, a lot of changes in the second I, half. If I was coach, be like, oh, that's a bad, bad pass there too. Didn't uh, communicate at all. That's the goal kick. But yeah, if I was coach, I'd rotate the whole squad for the second half, and I think that's what we're going to see. Now, what should make me wrong? <laughs> and here we come on the 29th minute. Oh yes. What does the 29th minute mean? Pardon me, boy. <laughs> is that the church? No, the church. Woo, woo. I think it is. That's why I'm not down there in the crowd anymore because I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this. You're down there all the time. <laughs> no, well, just guess, just guess hosting for Oh, for okay. You're just, you're just lip syncing. Okay. Yeah. yeah all right. That's yeah. Exactly yeah what I it thought is. you might be. Yeah. All right. Grimace <laughs> with the ball. Ken Woodfin cuts it out. <laughs> Oh, 
goes back out to Lars, goes over the top towards Will Shirai and Kapao. It's out for CFC throw it. Out for safety. Kapao's gonna let Lars take this. Wow. This isn't a great spot for a left foot. It is. That's a great cross. If you've been doing set pieces, this is a good location for set piece practice. We're about, what, 24 yards out? Yeah, that's really though. good. We'll see if, yeah, we'll see if the left foot of Cabello or the right, right. foot of Costa takes this. Right. While we wait for it, yes, sir. Volkswagen Chattanooga, the official title sponsor of Chattanooga Football Club. Volkswagen Chattanooga, proud sponsors of Chatt Chattahooligans since 2009. Cabello and Costa talking about it. Let's see what we got. That defensive line's rigid right on top of the box. Here we go. Taking the dummy. Deep in. Headed away for a corner. Let's nice, go do it again. Nice defending. Uh, well, didn't quite beat the first man of that Kimia Kaseyane's defense. CFC look decent. They do, don't they? dangerous on, on corners. They do. Here we got with another one. Kamea readies it. Deep, Wade, oh, deep the end of the six-yard box, keeper grabs it again first. He's very good with those corners. And he's going long. But McKenzie very fast, great. Really well. McKenzie gets the deflection, luckily he's able to put it out Chattanooga's end for a very quick turnaround for a corner for Cassione, it's the other end. It was a good recovery by McKenzie after a, throw. after a bit of a mistake. Out for a throw. It's out for a throw. But uh, yeah, good recovery, because that could have been, you know, that could have been one super nil. fast break on one nil. So. <laughs> One of those heart in the mouth moments where you're like, uh oh, here we go. That's not a not a bad idea from the from the Kimunikasiones keeper. No, that's a great move. Arizona Gonzalez. It's a great move to do that. One on one with uh, with McKenzie in the back. Yeah. Miyachi with the header. And Jagoya's gonna launch it out of there. And CFC hoofing it away a bit. Catch a bit of breathing space, and they can push forward into the centre third of the uh, well, the middle third of the field. So yeah, a little foul there. And a little, little overzealous. On uh, Mayo Del Cid there, number 21, taking the knock. That's, that's to go out with the foul. And we'll have another set piece. We will, from similar places last time. So. Last one was put sort of in the middle. And the Hernandez, had to come and punch. Yeah, Hernandez over the ball again. Let's see what we do. It'll be an end swinging cross. Almost certainly from that angle. There he goes. D'Amico with the Straight easy Straight D'Amico's arms. And he might be looking for Costa right now. I don't think that's gonna... That's not what there is. No. Just, just can't quite keep it in <laughs> Didn't play. quite keep it in play. We're right in front of the coaching bench there. And D'Amico apologizes for that. He kind of mishit the ball. He did, didn't he? It wasn't the one I thought he, I think he meant to do that one. All right, back in the play with Kremers. Michael, Michael Umar at the back again. Keep just, things steady. Just over 11 minutes now left in the first half before any stoppage time. Aaron passed. Nice steal from Costa. Costa. He's going to play it out wide to Vilsharai. Let's see if he can make some of this. I'm sorry, that's Caballo. Caballo's nice. falling to Costa. Costa with space. And he cuts no, it Oh, don't quite get the touch. And again, out for a goal kick for Krimis. Lars pushed able, up pretty they far were really, back. They were really able to take the sting out of that attack, weren't they? Stayed calm and broke it down. Yeah, yeah they certainly don't panic in defense. They don't, do they? They look very calm. And that's that's gonna be a foul on I think you're right. Bad <laughs> touch there. <laughs> you can see that one coming from about 20 yards away. Michael 
Will Amano restarts Will Stramus. Ten minutes to go in the first half. Maybe just ten more minutes for some of these CFC players to. Yeah, show that's what true. They can do yeah, to the coaching staff. That's right. It's their chance to showcase, and uh, they want to take advantage of that. Marias on the defense, supported by McKenzie there. And Los Cremas is going to go all the way yeah. back to midfield. Reset. But everybody's in the Chattanooga half at the moment, so Cremas pushing for something. Nice touches there. Good interception, well, nice. The uh, Cam, again, Degoya. Chattanooga doing the, the fast break again. And Degoya earns yeah. another foul. Pushing the back there. Chattanooga looking for those fast breaks if they can get them. And that foul probably saved uh, saved a couple more dribbles on the through ball into Vilshire. Mm -hmm. right, so Juan Sanchez. It's an experienced professional team and they the know when to foul in the opportune moments. Well, that's right. Yeah. Let's see what they call professional foul, knowing when to do it. Plays the ball. Nice inside. touch. Oh, and he's got the ball. Down. Oh, Bill good, Shry. good Can't block. Get it it's a corner kick good a block. And who was that again? Michael Umana. That experienced defender puts his body in the way. That'll be the fifth corner kick. Be, for CFC. Yeah, they're going to find it hard to get around him on this side. I tell you, they really are. They've all been on on this. Uh, they have, and he's he's blocking everyone. This right hand side. Yeah. I tell you, most of the play has been on. Uh, the, the side it has it this side nearest the crowd. the crowd it has that's right I don't know if that's if, if that's intentional or if, if that's just kind of how the yeah, game just the way, I think played. the way the game has flowed yeah bio N oh and no Sanchez can't quite get there but they're going to call there's already called what are they they're yeah they're calling the foul they called the foul so the ball was bobbling around. Some of the crowd think it's in the, in the net, but it's... It looks like it's goalkeeper <laughs> interference of some kind. I think so. Shadow Newgans forcing their... They think they were denied a goal, of course. <laughs> they always do. I'm not even certain that ball crossed the line. It, that, it didn't, but that's... It's okay. It's a friendly game. It's not like... <laughs> it's not life and death tonight. McKenzie <laughs> out down to Morales. Play it to the guy who can't quite control it. Nice the ball back. Nice Degoya. skill there. Still keeping the ball. Sanchez is going to play it back for some more room to Marias. Over to Miyachi. And referee blows his whistle. Got a bit of a pull down, didn't he? There was a there was a foul. And no yeah. advantage to be had. That's maybe the fourth or fifth time Degoy has been mm -hmm. fouled. He has. He's had a bit of quite a few knocks. The Lenore Ryan. Ah, uh, it's a bit too long. Yeah. The referee stopped play before it could be started again. The Market City Center, Chattanooga FC's official housing partner. Luxury living at the center of it all, at 728 Market Street in the heart of downtown Chattanooga. The Market City Center, another one of today's sponsors for CFC. Yeah, thanks to all our sponsors who've come back this year and the new ones who've joined us too. It's always great to have them on board and we, uh, we appreciate you very much, guys. Thank you for being there. McKenzie trying to get through, but he can. Yeah, kind of... Uh, Tangled, uh, tangled up there, and the referee's going to have to have a word about that one. <laughs> we, we do appreciate our sponsors while we, while we take this moment of stoppage. I, uh, I happened to crash the sponsors' party a couple nights ago, and the energy in the room was pal palpable. You didn't invite me, did you? Uh, I'm I, mayor, see, I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was accidentally <laughs> in the right place. Hey, I'm an owner of CFC. I should be there, too. I'm sure you all know listening tonight that you can be an owner of CFC and buy shares of it if you want to. You to own CFC. You can. Is it own CFC? I thought it was on the, it's on the WeFunder website too. Yeah, but yeah. OwnCFC.com will take you there as well. Okay, good. Lars with the cross. Nice cross. Who's there? Oh, yeah. Touch, but the keepers read that one way back and says thank you, picks it up. Yeah, I'm sure there's lots of owners like myself and yourself who are watching tonight. 
have our yard signs out that I, we're CSC owners. Quite a few of them are here yeah, today. it's great that we're all so involved in our community of our team. It's really good. There are owners in, by the last I heard, it was 44 states and 12 countries. And right. if you're watching from around the United States or around the world, we thank you for joining us. We do. Us yeah. And for putting up with us, I must say. <laughs> Back to Domingo. And Marias read it and then was. No, referee they calls a foul for that. Foul. Too much I, contact, I, I think. I think they called a foul in Sanchez. I think they did. I think the, I think the little bit studs up there, but. Uh, Marias, no, come, is, Marias had come through with the. To this could be ball. dangerous 30 yards out. We'll see what they can do. Yeah. Uh, again, this is something from the training ground. Straight on free kick. It's a good opportunity to put one on frame. It is. Just Phil D'Amico. Absolutely. See how far he can stretch. He's only had to make. Just a couple oh, of yeah. saves. Couple of really tonight. real stretches it's tonight. He hasn't been too pushed yet. So neither keeper really has. Right. So uh, five over it. So Mendes, yeah. Again, the free kick man. What's he got? Nice. Demico blocks it. Can't hold it. Free must get the loose ball and it's deflected out for a goal uh, for a corner. Juan, Juan Sanchez blocks the, uh, the yeah. second cross. So pretty much a, a, a corner from the far side this time. Let's see how they do with this. Into the 42nd minute now. The goal right before halftime would be. Here we go. Massive. Deep in the box, right across the penalty spot. And oh man, there's a nice header there. Bit of a maybe <laughs> from, a tag. Uh, Goodie Oviero, a shirt, but uh, a shirt tug there. Yeah, uncalled by the referee. He, uh, didn't keep it down though. So Chattanooga with the fruit with the goal kick. Back into play for the last few minutes of the first half. Don't see any injury time, so I think we'll just uh, probably play a straight 45 on this one. But I would not be surprised. I don't think there'll be the whole lot of stoppage time they played and kept moving well. goes long. Real sure I cannot control the header, but DeGoya wins the nice rebound. Nice touch. Still keeping the touch going, but again, crowded out. Kramer's defense is just crowds them out. Nice ball. Oh, there it Can't is. get it through, and he guards it back for D'Amico to pick it up. It was almost a worrying moment for the CSC back line. Ball played just a little bit too hard. Those keepers put yeah, some high press. Putting the high press, that's good. Seems That's what we're expecting him to do. Right through it. <laughs> yeah. Lars in a little bit of space. Out to Caballo. Look for the Caballo's looking for nice deep ball. Oh, and it just the back of his legs, and he can't get it. He's got. Will try it at Costa. He's got Costa on support. Costa trying to duck and dive. Here he goes. Costa. Oh, into the side netting. <laughs> the hooligans lit up. Thought that was a goal, but it into the side netting. What a good shot. Nice moves from Chattanooga, and quite dangerous too. Very, very close to that was good. there. Costa's had a couple of those opportunities. That's what we great, came for tonight. Had a great <laughs> cutback. Uh, just couldn't, just couldn't quite close the deal yeah. there. Everybody saw the net move and they thought that was in. <laughs> Rise with the header out to, out to Sanchez. To Lars. Cabello. Immediately double teamed. He loses the ball. But wins it right back. Tackled by Lars. And he plays nice it. ball. It's deep through. Is he offside? offside? Yeah, I thought that was a bit uh, offside. Well caught by the linesman. Offside way back. But good move. Good thinking from Chattanooga. They're not uh, sitting back. Like I said, they're, they're looking to make that break. You, you can tell. You can tell Cabello's quality uh, in mm -hmm. that he's able to play. Yep play good balls, whether it's across the field towards Costa or uh, through balls in, into Max Vilshirai. Yep. Yeah. Quality that he showed with an mm -hmm. assist uh, against FC Dallas. That's right. I remember that game. That was a, a very nice move, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Zeka. Mm -hmm. Long-time CFC player Zeka Faraz finished. Uh, Zeka will be on the bench uh, and may, may or may not feature uh, in the second half. He may do. Maybe one last attack opportunity before halftime. 
Miyashi trying to cut it out. McKenzie does kick it away. Covers and wins another header. And CFC might have an opportunity. Yeah, they, they do. The they get a... side. Just maybe Just five or so seconds before we hit 45 minutes. We'll see how much stoppage time there is, if any. I'm not seeing much stoppage time, but the fourth official's not putting anything up, and, and no, no, we're playing exactly 45 minutes. <laughs> 45 minutes done, no score for between Chattanooga FC and Communicaciones FC. Yeah, good game uh, to watch though, some an, an nice attacks. An interesting first half. Very interesting. Relatively cagey, yep. uh, but a couple of decent opportunities from both teams. Absolutely, it was, it was good to watch. And uh, Jao Costa has the side netting, yep. uh, goes over the bar a couple of times. Uh, one yeah. real big opportunity. Uh, yeah, the, the, the bulk of the attacks from Chattanooga certainly uh, forcing more corners and uh, I would have made sure the keeper's been very good tonight. Gonzalez has been very good indeed. He's been reading the ball well, he's stopped the ball, he's read the corners well. He's been and, great. And he's, so. he's grabbed a couple of the corners straight out of the air. Yeah. Now if they change keepers in the second half then we'll see how the new keeper does if he's uh, able to you know, do the same. But, uh, we will, uh, we will, find we will out. update you on any lineup changes during the second half. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a few. I think so. Yeah. So, but it's been been a good first. I've enjoyed it at home. We certainly enjoy watching it so far. We'll be taking a short break here to, uh, as usually, know what time it is at half time. It's a cup of tea and a biscuit for us. So, uh, not one of those American biscuits, but a we call a cookie, a rich tea or something, or a chocolate digestive. So, time for that. We're going to take one of those. You go put your feet up and do what you need to do for a second. Don't go away though and come back in 15 minutes. The second half is great. All right, that's half time done. We're uh, chock a block here with tea and biscuits and we're in good shape. We uh, had a nice break. Hope you had a good break too. Ready for the second half. Real quickly, let's go over the, the lineup for CFC in the second half. There okay. have been 10 changes. Uh, so I'm going to go through this like a normal starting lineup. At okay. goalkeeper will be a newcomer, uh, Torhe Weidenroth. He's wearing number 30. At right back will be David Bourne, number 18. At left center back, Jordan Dunstan, number 21. A returning player to CFC. We'll be happy to see him back on the pitch. Uh, Gabriel Torres will be at left back, number 7. Daniel Valenciano will be back in the midfield, number 88. Marcus Marzot, number 25. Caleb Cole, number 12, another CFC veteran, is back. On the right-hand side, it will be Dominic Marvins, a player who's had some minutes and caps with the Haitian national team. Michael Conajero, uh, number 16, will be on the left-hand side to start. And Charles Charlie Clark will be uh, up top, number 26. Uh, real, real. Yes, wearing the same number as as uh, Max Vilshry. I didn't mention the 11th player. Uh, Genki Miyachi, number five, is going to stay back out there at center back alongside Jordan Dunstan. And Communicaciones kicked us off in the second half. Nice to see Jordan Dunstan back too after his year away with Nashville. We're so happy to have Jordan Dunstan back. Absolutely. It's uh, great to see him back in CFC Blue. And immediately Miyachi cuts the ball out and sends it out into the stands. Temperatures noticeably cooled off a little mm -hmm. bit. It has. Cooled down, lights are on there. Still a beautiful evening, but uh, touch cooler. And Torres plays it off of a Communicaciones player for a throw in. Yep. We have a, a special guest joining us uh, for the first part of this second half. And who's that, as, Matt? As Caleb Cole gets the ball out the right side. We've got Eldo Conductor in the house. Wow, El yes, Conductor. Oh. Eldo, was it, how does it feel to be back? Oh, it's great, man. The weather's wonderful. I mean, it's been so cold and just overcast, but to have a beautiful day today is just wonderful. Well, we're, we're, we're all glad to be back, and it's nice to have you with us oh, yeah. up, in, up in the booth today. Running the live stream, getting stuff done. I don't know if you noticed, but we did a drawing at halftime. Uh, one thing we're doing new this year is the ball goes back to the keeper there. 
One thing we're doing new this year at the tailgate over the Chattahooligans, uh, we have a kids activities table and we have a raffle where we will give away prizes at halftime uh, of every home game. And so I just gave away a kid's t-shirt. Did uh, I win? No, you did not. It was really only for children. Oh, well. So, that's too bad. Yeah, but, but, you know, but it's for the kids. It's for the kids. It's really to um, just uh, give them more things to do at the tailgate and uh, just to make it a more fun event. So it keeps it family friendly, which is always great. Yes, exactly. That's the idea. And we'll have lots of different things that we'll be giving away during the year and uh, should be a fun time. Dunstan sends it out to the right back, David Bourne. Bourne played for West Florida University, or the University of West Florida, excuse me, for uh, CFC coach Bill Elliott. And Valenciana goes back to Torhe Weidenroth. It is great to see number 21 back in CFC Blue. We have, we have all missed Jordan Dunstan uh, in his year uh, at Nashville SC. Uh, we, 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 did, we did have him uh, briefly uh, here back at Finley Stadium for as an errant pass goes to the Comunicaciones player. We had Dunstan back playing for Internashville against CFC, and that was a 1-0 win for Chattanooga. Cole and Marvin's back playing defense, and I think the ref just called a handball. He called, yeah, he did. He called it against Comunicaciones, and... Uh try for the foul but uh, referee saw that one. These uh, FIFA referees are a lot, uh, a lot sharper than some we've had in the past. <laughs> like yes. They, uh, they know the tricks the players can pull. So. <laughs> Why did Roth look at the free kick? Good call. Simon, it's got to be a little bit weird to have 10 new players out there in the second half. What do you... It is. I mean, we're, we're kind of looking at a brand new game we for, are, for these we? guys. It's hard to see if they get a job, and so far so good. And uh, they may well be, they play at an A and a B squad, and they do play together in, in practice times. Wow, so he's, uh, he's really committed to selling that. It's, that uh, uh, yeah, it's good to see everybody get the chance to play. That's it's a tryout as well, and it's a good time for the fans to see everybody play as well. See who's down on the far side. Charlie Clark has been judged to have bowled over a Los Cremas player. And he's still down on the knock. Yeah, he's back up. Holding his right ankle, but I think he. Uh... Well, in, in case he needs treatment, the Center for Sports Medicine, the official trainers and orthopedic providers for Chattanooga FC. The Center for Sports Medicine. Uh, I've seen them, seen them over the years a few times myself for my sporting injuries, and they always take good care of, of our players and have since 2009. So we thank them for sponsoring, sponsoring Chattanooga FC. Well, he's back up. Well, enough to take the kicks. So I think he's okay. Just probably a bit of a bruising or a slight knock on that one. So the game's back into play. You're very generous, Simon. I, I tried a bit. I tried. <laughs> and it's a friendly. We're not going to, you know, no, yeah, get too mean. It's a, yeah, it's a great atmosphere. Wait till later in the season. I was just down in the stands with the folks, and oh, it is a wonderful atmosphere down there. Of course, you can hear the Chattahooligans. And, and, yeah, yeah, it looks great. Big crowd, excited. too. Big crowd down there. Dunstan cut out a long ball there from Los Cremas. And now Torhe Widenroth goes long. He's calm. Charlie Clark giving Chase, chase. Yeah, fast Charlie can and he's going to force a force throw in. That's good for Charlie. Good pressure. Charlie Clark had a strong start to the 2018 season. Uh, tailed off a little bit towards the end with his goal scoring, but provided valuable hold-up play. Cold structure there, but it's certainly with the ball back again. Still trying to get the pressure off. Looking good. I've got to say that staying calm, not overawed by the pro team, which is always good to see. Miyachi. Yeah, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. I mean, you know, we've had lots of good chances. They they've had a couple too. I mean, this is a pretty even game. Yeah, it's not uh, not gone one way or the other yet, which is also good to see. So, like that. David Bourne to Valenciano. Can't find Dominic Marvin's on the far side. We've had a question from one of the viewers. And they said, what does the old conductor do in the off-season? Does he hibernate or does he go south to Florida? What does he do? Well, Can you tell us? Or is it a secret? Some people would say that he trolls other people on Twitter. Um, uh, but generally what I'm doing is pl making plans for the next season. I mean, there really isn't an off-season these days. 
we're always um, coming up with new ideas like the kids activity table at the tailgate, uh, changes we're going to make to the streaming, enhancements, things like that. So uh, that's really what I do during the off season is make plans for the, for the next CFC season. Okay, well there's your answer. Genki Miyachi for CFC had another, another interception. Slowing the low stream us attack. That's not the not the first one of those he's had tonight by a long shot. Seems to be having a pretty good making a pretty good case for his inclusion in the in the full team. Action down this side. You're saying that little action is near side <laughs> from both teams. Try to foul, he didn't whistle that. Trying to get he didn't whistle that. <laughs> play a little closer to the coaches. That must be it. Marzak giving pressure. A great, nice long ball there. That's good. Gabriel Torres now in defense. Pokes that ball oh, good. away. Good defense. And Dunstan Jordan is going Dunstan. to get there and shepherd that ball out of play for a goal kick. Yeah. Good solid play, Jordan. That is that is the Jordan Dunstan we all remember. That's what we like to see him play. <laughs> And Widenroth is going to go short to Dunstan to start this attack. Out to the University of District of Columbia senior, Gabriel Torres, left back, number seven. Receives the ball back from Dunstan. Charlie Clark has it poked away for a CFC throw in. Oh, got a substitution. Substitution for Comunicaciones, no, number 12. You're a midfielder, number 12. Looks like uh, Hernandez coming off, you see. Number five, yes. Yeah, he's been a good, he's been a good player. So, uh, that's the yeah. f first Comunicaciones substitution of the game. And oh, that's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, didn't expect to see that, here. you? Comunicaciones this player a thump. <laughs> comes off worse yeah. for wear on that on that really? foul on Charlie Clark. It'll be a CFC ball for the restart. I think you're gonna have to back up a little a bit little more. Bit too, yeah, he's a bit too close, isn't it? <laughs> this appears to be pretty standard conca calfing Standard game for, for, the, for yeah. those of you who are yeah. familiar with the term. <laughs> what you would expect to see in Latin American football, let's say that. Torres. <laughs> American football, or both. <laughs> Torres launches it out towards Marvin's, but a little bit of a miscommunication on the on the long ball. And Los Cremas will start another attack. He's got a runner. Marvin's easily cuts that out and almost gives it away. Gets it to Caleb, Caleb. 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 trying the first time. Back to Dunstan and over to Michael Conajero. Two on two on this side. Conajero takes it forward. He's going to play it to Gabriel Torres. The cross in. And, and they're going to call Charlie Clark for a foul there for a push near the six yard box. It's like Charlie's coming back because King to play as ever. He hasn't changed his style a bit, has he? And that's what we expect from Charlie. He's going to be going in pretty hard and pretty fast. Play, play, playing physical. Gabriel Torres is his first real four-way forward. Uh, and and we, can, we can expect that a little bit for him playing left back. He does love to get forward. And there's a mistake there, and Charlie Clark's got the ball. Charlie goes for the shot. Come on. And it's saved. He gets right behind that one. This is body right behind. That was almost a very, very unfortunate incident for Los Cremas. It was. They quickly got numbers back though and gave didn't give Charlie Clark a lot of room for the shot. I think that's where we're gonna see the goal come from tonight. If we get one, we're gonna see that from those quick breaks on both sides. Quick break or a mistake. I think that's where it's gonna yeah, I think that's where it's gonna come from. Oh. They're well matched. We played in an hour and still no score. And I think that's where it's gonna be. Seeing the goal. David Bourne with the interception and it's out for a throw in. There's a little combination play. And that's Valenciano breaking it up and out to Charlie Clark and hold up. Cole. Cole goes over the top. Not quite right, Clark. 
Mr. Charlie Clark had gone out wide, and Cole's ball went straight down the middle. And Los Cremos will reset. Having much more of the possession in this start of the second half than CFC. Yes, Looks like CFC is showing a little bit more willingness to play on the break in the second half. Marvin's with the interception now. And he's gonna go, he's gonna go by one man and he won't get by the second man, but there's been a foul call. And uh, it would uh, draw a yellow card in regulation play, but uh, it's a friendly, so they go on. Yeah. Yeah, Marvin's was, was pretty clearly gonna go by there and Bit of a knock, didn't he? I think he's going to make it. But, uh, Cre Cremus Blair. Cremus Blair made sure to move his body in the way. Just introduced himself to him. Okay, we have a change here. Yeah. The forward Chinchilla coming in. I'm he sorry. Yeah, the forward. Chinchilla, so we'll see if they're going to try for the goal. Call over the ball now. Nice in the box. Good defending. First touch from Chinchilla, here he comes. Is he going to be a super sub? He gets the goal. Torres with the, the block no, off, not. and Conejero <laughs> has the ball now. Conejero still. No, and he's going to tries to cut it back for a corner kick now. Very nice. Here we go. Number 11, Ramirez off there. In his place of midfielder, replaced by a forward. And Caleb Cole has been assigned the free kick duty in the second half for CFC. The duty he held at parts during 2018. And he sends it in long. Punch, it punch out, but here's Smarzok. So he's underneath it and scoops it over the bar. The German can't quite keep it yeah, down and it's out, space, for, out for a goal kick. Him a lot of space and time to hit that one. Didn't close him down at all. And we're having a keeper change for Comunicaciones. Okay, this will be. Yes, Perez coming on as we thought. The reserve goalkeeper. Gonzalez taking the breather. Well, Perez so, uh, runs towards the goal. Yeah. Our, uh, one of our other sponsors is Blue Cloth Blue Shield of Tennessee, based right here in Chattanooga. They are here for us and our communities. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. Thank you to all our CFC sponsors. We uh, could not do this without you. Marvin's now. He's recovered well from his knock. Out That's towards nice Conajero. Keeps it in play. Conajero goes inside. And it's oh, saved by the goalkeeper. Conus have to push it out for a throw in. Now that is invent that is inventive there by Conajero to go to, to show the outside or to show the outside and then take the inside line. Keeper had to stay near post. Or that would have been one nil to CFC. Long throw in from Dunstan. Do one of those before. That's a great long time. He should have just thrown it in. Almost, yeah. He's throwing into the goal. <laughs> That's. It has to touch somebody before it goes in the goal. Otherwise, right. otherwise it's a. Uh, yeah. One it's, of those it's a free kick. Of soccer that people forget about. Ah. <laughs> That's a that's a, going to be a valuable club that CFC is going to have in the bag. Oh yes, uh, this year Absolutely. and into the fall with the start of the NPSL Founders Cup. Right, well, we're getting to the uh, the latter part of the year. It's going to be very interesting indeed. Long ball goes nowhere. Weinroth kicks it out to Gabby Torres. Pressure on him. Who what jukes a, jukes a Los Primos player and out of his shoes, there. and that's going to be a foul. With a couple of fouls one after the other. So who's still standing at this point? Like, uh, I see everybody down. It'd be easier just to say, just call out who's, up, who's still on their feet. This is pretty... Yeah, a little bit of uh, push in it. <laughs> pretty much a scrum. Kevi Torres with a great move there and draws the foul. And there's a yellow card. Oh, the yellow card. Don't get many of those in a friendly, do you? But we have a yellow card. Well, I mean, first one of the night. I mean, kind of, kind of deserved. <laughs> It really oh, cleared out an area was, there. It was uh, what you would expect. Charlie Hooligan's waving the yellow cards. Dunstan will take the free kick. 
The uh, yellow cars, as always, sponsored by Capman and White, fixing foul vision all over the world, at least in Chattanooga. <laughs> <laughs> and Charlie Clarkson got called for a foul there. Yeah. For uh, not gracefully moving another player out of the way. It's a lively crowd here tonight. A lot, a lot of them are standing at this point. Long ball into the channel. Jordan Dunstan's there. And it's a goal kick. Goal kick. Unless the referee decides to... Signal goal kick. And it's going to stay a goal kick. Yeah. Protest the players, but... Uh, yeah. It looked to be there that the referee asked the linesman for an explanation there and right. accepted the call. Wide and rough goes along with the goal kick. Marvin's heads it up. I think one of our Chattahooligan Hooligan friends is rather clear on the audio there. We've subbed in a, uh, a new capo, I think, right now. Ah. Valenciana kicks it out to Conajero. Keeps it in play. Driving in. Uh, Can't get the connection. Bit of a bit of a miscommunication there. And oh, oh well, that's. Uh, that's going to draw a car too. Why? I that was a quite a pretty hefty that? foul, wasn't it? Was that just frustration? Is I think that it was, was frustration. That's, um, I'm not gonna lie. I think it looked a lot worse than it really was. It looked bad. Caught him. Yeah, caught him in a in, in a moment when he was already up. Yeah, it went a bit hard there. But the referee's like, you gonna keep the card in his, <laughs> gonna, gonna keep the card in his pocket for Torres's first foul. It continues. All right. No scream us, just kicking the ball around a little bit in the back. They keep going long though, and Dunstan's got to recover, and does. There the again. Offside, offside flag was up. Anyway. Uh -huh. the offside very nicely. Tell you what, CFC's numbers in midfield has really stifled anything going through the middle, mm -hmm. and forced to make decisions. Los Cremas has gone over the top several times to no avail, and that's not 10 yards. It was closer. Well, it, close. it was closer <laughs> to a yard, to be honest. Gabby Torres now cutting inside, and he sends it out to Conajero. Conajero kicks it across, and Marvin's can't get there. David Bourne can't get there. Still bouncing around the box, but moved away for a throwing. I was I was mistaken. David Bourne did get on the end of the ball there, but nobody got any power on it. Just a touch. Could not quite. Ball could not quite not direct it anywhere. Full corner of the ball, let's face it, passed around. And Jordan Dunstan will take another long throw. Absolutely, all the way in the box. And he launched that yeah. straight to the Kimikasi on his keeper. So, Smarzak on the left end, on, on, on the far side now, playing a little token defense. The game's moving very fast, so it's not really slowed down at all. It's really picked up speed now. Already in the 66th yes, minute. This is good. If you're just tuning in, still 0-0 zero to zero for Chattanooga FC and Comunicaciones FC. Uh, CFC made a, a veritable line change at halftime, replacing 10 of the 11 players. And uh, just a few shots for either side. Nothing incredibly dangerous at this point. Now, the nearest thing was Jared Costa's shot into the side netting. That was really about it. But, uh, Filled of, yeah, CFC else. keeper in the first half, Phil D'Amico, only had to make one save of any consequence. Uh, two saves, well, I'll take that back. Right. Here we play on. CFC players talking to each other, calling out assignments, communicating the most important part of defense. And a Dunstan header to Valenciano, now going to go all the way back to Wyden Roth. Away, you can't clear the 30-yard line. Yeah. But Valenciano is stepping forward. And he's nice going to maintain touch. possession. Yeah. Focus on control there. The referee's calling it back. I believe he called a handball yeah, on Valenciano oh, yeah, there. The ball was popping around. 
It'll be a free kick to Comunicaciones. Everybody's in chat now, guess he's half. Let's see if this is uh, one of Comunicaciones' set pieces. And they're gonna go relatively short to the wing. Cuts inside and a ball. Interesting ball. Oh, just right across the back of the car. That right there. Ooh, that could have been interesting if somebody had got a touch on that. CFC's going to play quick now. Gabby Torres out to Michael Conajero. And you got Smarzok making yeah, a run. A quick break again. Uh, well, the they're not going to call, call, call that. 50-50 on that one. Conajero put the ball one way, tried to run the other way, and ran right straight into somebody. That's the kind of breakaway that CFC could be rather dangerous with. The Jao Costa was dangerous with in the first half. That was a good breakaway. He the one on one hand. Uh, almost. About an 80 yard run for Jao Costa. That resulted in the ball going into the side netting. Now, Kaminikase is on the, on the far side. Dominic Marvin's just got beat. Chipped in. Miyagi, and oh. that's a goal. There it is. There First goal. First goal to Comunicaciones, they're not going to call the offside there. Miachi had a, an opportunity to clear, but couldn't quite get his foot through the ball. So we said the first goal will come from an error. That and it's it. The it really was. It's bad luck. 69th minute, and the score is Comunicaciones FC 1, Chattanooga FC 0. Zero. That was uh, Jorge Maria, the forward number 90, getting the first goal. What's up? Well, what is CFC going to do to respond here? Yeah, now we have a game on. Smarzak receiving some instructions from associate head coach Peter Fuller on the sideline. Kini is getting ready to make a substitution as well. It's like a double substitution. It is. out to Jordan Dunstan. It goes long to the far side towards Dominic Marvins, the Haitian. He's a, he's a tall course. lad, isn't he? He's, uh, he's, uh, certainly his height certainly helps him. Yes. yes. Okay. Getting confused with the names here. Jorge, Jorge Ortiz is what the announcer is saying. I'm paying Jorge Murillo, depending on which score sheet you're reading. Either way, number nine, I think, got the goal of the forward. So, good play. A couple of substitutions coming up. Okay. is going to make the double substitution now. Number 26 enters the game. Liner O'Neill, Garcia, Mejia. I didn't quite catch who he replaced. Uh, no, he replaced number 90, the goal scorer. Yep. Guess he's done his job, he's gonna rest. <laughs> All right. Mendez comes in, number 16, replacing. Hey, that cold finally to that ball on the far side. There he is again, stealing it back. Look Killed at him go, he's playing so well. Inventive. Goes down, referee's not calling it. They're gonna give a corner though. The corner, uh, Kelo Cole was hoping for a penalty. He was pulled down just over the line. He was, but the referee the deems referee, it not to be that's right. sufficient enough for a penalty call. And Gabriel Torres goes over to take an in-swinging corner kick. See if CFC can get back on the score sheet. Quickly, this would be a good psychological change to come back in and get a goal straight away. Deep in, and it's served it in, but oh, not quite. Behind the goal, it goes. Another it's corner. An another corner kick now. No, defender got there first and flipped it away. Torres with Here the corners again. 
Swing it in. Oh, right through the box again. again. Oh, again. Just needed a slight touch. Does not appear that anyone is warming up on the Chattanooga FC bench area. Looks like the coaching staff's gonna let the second half ride with this group out here, give them a full oh, look. I think so. They want to bring on fresh legs in the last 10 minutes and pitch a goal back. Maybe we, maybe we'll see CFC signees, Felipe Oliveira, well, we may see some of the, uh, Zacco. Yeah. There are a couple some of others, a trialist. Some of the last year's old guard come back and <laughs> do some magic. Caleb Cole, nice turn, gets the ball. What can he get away? Now? He plays it out towards Charlie Clark. Charlie Clark's going to have to stretch for that one. Can't quite get to it. The press is on now, but Clark gets beat. The Miyachi's header. Marvins can't quite get there. It's Comunicazione's ball, and they're looking to, looking to send it upfield. Calcionis looks to be in no hurry to do anything at this point. We'll have to see if CFC comes out of a little bit of a defensive shell that they've displayed the second half. Ball in behind. It's long, it's too, too long. long. Too long, isn't it? Easy for the keeper. Wide and rough. Throws it out to Torres. Back to Dunstan. Back to Wide and rough. A lot of pressure. Yeah, isn't there? A lot of pressure. And well, Screamus is going to regain possession. Screamus not sitting back and uh, just staying on one goal lead, looking for a second. Daniel Valenciano there with pressure causes the, the poor shot that goes straight to wide and rough. Smarzash kicks it out to David Bourne. He's putting it in the channel towards Caleb, Caleb Cole. Cole. Brings it down nicely. Who's he got on support? Oh, just just can't quite get that right. Step too far on that one. Now, Dominic Dominic Marcus Marcus. Is play. They're playing the triangles that you know, they'll be practicing in training. They're playing the, you know, the keep ball, the triangles. That's a very good example of that. Anybody who's playing soccer will know that, or anybody who's learned the game, it's very important to play those drills and do the triangles, because that's what's helping them keep possession. You can tell this is a friendly, because CFC has not shown uh, any any major tactical change in, uh, in pressing or anything mm -hmm. like that uh, since the second half began. Uh, and no real need need to in, a, in an international friendly that ultimately is about figuring out uh, what players are going to end up making the 2019 full roster. That's ultimately what to, tonight is about. Mm -hmm. That and the celebration of soccer. As well, that's it. Oh, that's not a great pass, almost, but it almost gets it again. Yeah, right. Jordan, Jordan Dunstan left that a little, a little yeah, short, a bit, uh, but uh, not nearly as short as the crowd thought it might have been. Torres can't keep that in play. Number 26, Garcia Magia, is. Uh, Chasing those down. Every time they come in, he's he's ready to chase the ball into the 18-yard box. And uh, Torres with an interception. He's after that goal. <laughs> 75 minutes played. Just the one goal though. Oh, and that's and a that's great a miss. Tommy. Yeah. Cross, Cross in. Oh, and just too much on it. Caleb Cole's there for the interception. Caleb Cole steals it and had the intercepted again by Grimmerson. Lobbed over the keeper. Chattanooga breathe again. <laughs> CFC just passing the ball out in the back a little bit right now. Good long Over ball the there. Top. Towards Charlie Clark. Chasing it. Has he got support? He's got a lot of defenders back. Who's there to help him? That's There's Smarzak. And he slides it in. Yeah. And the referee's going to wave no, off any, no, any foul call. support there to make something happen. And the throw given away. And an accidental. CFC. A misplaced pass by. Uh, well, if, you're, if you're enjoying this tonight and you're hungry for more soccer, we have more coming in April.
on uh, April 4th, I believe. April the 6th, on sixth. Saturday night, two weeks from today, Detroit City FC That's will be right. coming to town yeah. uh, for the third ever meeting between Chattanooga FC and Detroit City FC. Yeah, you haven't got too long to wait for another exciting game here at Finley Stadium. And that's always a great game when Detroit come to town. They have a lot of fans who are a lot like the Howler Hooligans, and they, uh, the two groups get together for a huge tailgate and a big uh, get together the night before. It's always a good time when they come to town, like a big party. We're, so, we're expecting. Plus, good soccer, of course. <laughs> uh, definitely good soccer. We're expecting about 100 and 120 or so Detroit yeah. mm. fans to make the journey, members of the Northern Guard supporters. A bit of uh, argy bargy there from the players. Zori and Chattanooga getting the free kick. So we have that. We have uh, another friendly after that one, which we'll tell you about later. And then we're into league play, but uh, plenty of soccer this year with CFC. More than ever before in 2019. So we celebrate our 10th anniversary. Can you believe it's been now 11 seasons? I know. It's nuts. It's nuts. When you and I were first here, there was a handful of us banging paint buckets down the stands. You're like, you never would dream it would be as big as this. And you, you and I are both there right at the beginning, and it's uh, it's amazing what we have now. Minicacion is fit to just kick the ball around a little bit. Although now you saw Caleb Cole applying a little bit of pressure. Nice give and go there. Jordan Dunson doing a great job at holding up play. Now, Conejero and Charlie Clark were running a little bit of pressure. But Comunicacion has played through it pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they regrouped a bit in there. You can tell even with uh, even with fewer substitutes that Comunicacion is fit, uh, and it shows. They've, oh, yeah. They've been fitter, they've been sharper. They have, they've anticipated better. They've also played with their teammates for more than two days. Well, that does help. <laughs> You kind of know where somebody's going to be and how they're going to move. There's a nice header, but Torres yeah. has the ball out. Cleared away. Dunson adds one. Falls Kill. back to see it to Cassiano's again. What are they going to do? Staying calm, then not panicking. That ball's a little too strong. But uh, they keep their shape, aren't they? Keep their shape, then yeah, you can tell they're match fit. David Bourne to throw it in for CFC. Out to Smarzak. Back to David Bourne. Miachi. It looks like Miachi is going to be the only one to go 90 minutes for CFC. Who's had, a, in my opinion, to be a pretty good game. Uh, yeah. That one, that one mistake, uh, right. where he just couldn't get his couldn't get his foot through the ball, led to the Comunicaciones goals. The only the only real blight on his record tonight. Former J J League Two player. Mm -hmm. Wide route out to Cole. Just goes long towards Charlie Clark. Nice touch. Shot to Smarzak. Can't get it to Conahero. Good thinking though. They're looking for space. They're looking for players that can run the ball. That's a little deep. Oh, nice. Stop. Bit of rotten shot that goes right across the goal. Closer to the corner flag and the goal. Thank goodness. That's. Uh, Nice move. That scared that scared Tor Torhe Weinroth a little bit. I think so. Uh, pretty quickly. And he didn't stay to the shot and just had a go at it. And he had time to actually steady that and take a better shot. But never mind. Miyachi bringing it up now on the right hand side. Eighty minutes. Valenciano is dropping rather deep to collect the ball. Now he's going to spray a pass out towards Conahero that doesn't quite get nice. there. Conahero yeah. runs onto it. He's looking. Take the shot. He's looking and it's wide. Good, good idea from way out there, from 22 yards out. Still uh, not when afraid to take a shot. When you're in the 81st minute and you get a ball like that, yeah, you take it. You take Absolutely. that shot. Yes, you do. You didn't have really too many options. Uh, Charlie Clark was pretty well covered, and Dominic Marvin's was a mm -hmm. little bit behind the play. Just have a go. Going to Harrow now in defense. <laughs> We must taking their time bringing the ball up, content to stretch. There's that long ball again. It's nice ball. It runs onto it. Can't Miyachi get the, with a good block. Cannot get the coverage. shot away. That was a good move. 
Easy for Wyden Roth. It's back to Mianchi and out to David Bourne. He's going to play it across Again, the Jordan Benson. Uh, Garcia Mejia looking very dangerous there. He's you know, keeping an eye on him. He's off for a goal. You can tell. Kind of hero, but just a little bit too far for Smarza. But the Comunicaciones player plays it out for a throw in. It'll be Gabby Torres to take. Torres. And to Clark, but he can't control it. They must push way back. They're trying to come out from their just back. Playing off. it out of the back. Nice steady play there. You see that? That's that. That's those soccer drills where you do, where you just keep it short passes, keep possession. And the local Communicazione fans applaud. And oh, yeah. Great play they out haven't of the done the Olays yet, but they probably will. And they go, Olay, Olay. <laughs> I love when they do that. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of possession. It's, they are. Yeah. They have, Communicazione has really put their, their foot on this game in the second half. They're they have. Man managing the ball, managing possession. Not giving, uh, not giving CFC a lot of opportunities to do much the second half. Charlie Clark had that one, that one shot attempt. Not much, not much else. Kind of here is going to put pressure. Yeah, the ball's going to go out well. for a David Bourne yeah. throw-in. Still a good shot, CFC. The last few minutes to get something out of this. Yeah, about I mean, seven minutes until stoppage yes, time. Plenty of time to get someone out of this. So. Valenciano kicks it out to Gabby Torres. Back towards Shorten Dunstan. Dunstan. And that's staying cool, not giving it away. That slipped away from the Archie. Does Communicaciones go forward or they take the air out of the ball again? And I believe it's answer B. Answer B it is then. David Bourne cuts it out. Can't quite get it to Charlie Clark. In the overlap. In the ball. Oh, oh no, it's an own goal. That is an own goal. Unbelievable. An own goal. Unbelievable. Dominic Marvins. Oh, wow. And well, Just folks. A bad deflection. Some of those go over the goal. That one went smack into the corner. In the 85th, Don't you hate that? In the 85th minute, an own goal. <laughs> just bad luck, isn't it? That, that, is, that, that's, that can happen to anybody. I mean, there's just nothing you can do about nothing that. There's do nothing, about that and there's nothing that Tor Torhe and Widerath no, could have done about that not either. Not a thing. Sometimes, sometimes things just happen. They do. Wow. Exiting the game for CFC is Charlie Clark. Entering the game is number 10, Juan Hernandez. Ah. Number 10, Juan Hernandez. Everybody's favorite of the crowd tonight. Happy to see him back. And happy little short cameo for Juan Hernandez, although David Bourne has gone down. He's going to have a crazy cramp or he's pulled up a muscle on his thigh. So, yeah. I think they're gonna maybe substitute him out if he's pulled a muscle or something. I wouldn't. I would not be surprised. There's no reason to continue. He's hurt himself. It's not uh, that critical tonight. Looks like that's number 23, Victor yeah. Sato, getting mm -hmm. loose. The Nigerian. Yeah, took a knock. Pulled him. He's yeah. pulled a muscle. Okay. You're right. It is. Sato, yep. the Sato, yep. graduate of Trevecca Nazarene University in Nashville, Tennessee. No stranger to Finley Stadium to Sato. No, he's not. He's played for Nashville FC and the past two years for International mm -hmm. FC. We, we've seen him here quite a few times. Not in CFC Blue. Dunstan goes back to Wyden Roth. And back to Dunstan. Miachi and Sato can quite aren't quite on the same page there. Hernandez Whoops. closing him down and closing him a little hard. Inadvertently, well, inadvertently, caught him on the ankle. I don't think it's intentional. 
He's uh, making a bit of a slow and dance like that, but he's just, just clipped on the ankle, really. Deep into the 87th minute now. Communicaciones will have a free kick. And the way they're lining up, either he's going to go for a 40 yard shot, or we're going to see this ball played short. It's the shot. The shot was the answer, and it's well yeah, wide. And it's wide. Yeah, no danger there. Shan Yu to get a chance to reset in the last couple of minutes. Formation has switched slightly, if you're interested in that. Juan Hernandez was moved into midfield. That's really and strongest. Caleb, and, and Caleb yeah. Cole was, was moved out to the wide right. Dominic Marvins was moved up top. Poofed away. So they're trying to throw behind their bench. Looks like Jordan Dunson's gonna, gonna take a long throw here into the box. And why not at this point? Why not? Good chance for a goal, why not go for it? You can have a, essentially what is the set piece. Who would have wanted to score on a pro team? Come on, here we go. It's going in. Pushed away. Can't go. It's still bouncing around. Marvin's can't go. Flames finally. Cleared out. Let's clear it. Sardo gathers it. Back to the keeper. Ponciano. Gabby Torres. Gabby Torres loses it and it pops out for a throw. Cremas. Kai Harris going to have to give some pressure now. Well, that's, a, that's an old ball. <laughs> misplaced a little bit. I think so. Valenciano with some skill. Yeah, here's Hernandez. Torres. Plays it long. Okay, that's not. Oh, it's a bit too much. That's asking a lot to make him run out of that. <laughs> Good ground on hand tonight. I have not seen any uh, any official numbers yet. Not yet, but. Uh, but uh, a wonderful night. A wonderful night for soccer in Chattanooga. I'm going to guess we're at least four and a half thousand. See if I'm right or not. I think uh, Martin's that's offside, offside there. Yeah, nice try. In the last minute of play. Good idea from Marcus Marzot. We're in the last minute of regular time. Anderson in great voice, aren't they? Oh, for 90 minutes of chanting, they're still uh, going great. I love that. That's the Chattanooga throw. So they can get moving on this and make some one last push before the clock runs down. Another minute or two of injury time, but... Not very much. Not really a whole lot. It's, it's, the game's flowed very well, actually. It's been good to watch and... Whichever side you sport, it's been good to watch, part of those unfortunate goals, which uh, can happen to anybody. Both those really are goals that can be scored either way. So. One minute to go now. No, Stoppage go. time. In that last minute, the referee will keep time on the field. So you can't watch the clock for the countdown. But, so. Dustin and Conahara can't quite link up there. Cassianes is just going to slowly take some time off here. So Simon, what are mm -hmm. what are your impressions uh, in these first 90 minutes for CFC? There's uh, there's some good new players coming on here. They're gelling well with the existing team, and uh, even with the short practice time, they're doing well. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing him play again in the next couple of friendlies. But uh, I'm, I'm not disappointed in what I've seen tonight, Matt. Not at all. It, it looks like it's going to be a good for 2019 season. I think I think the coaching staff has, and uh, as the referee goes for full time, well, I think it. the coaching staff yeah. is, uh, has had 90 useful minutes as well as a couple of practices oh, yeah. to Absolutely. evaluate some players. And I know Absolutely. that decisions are going to start to get made pretty soon. I think so. Yeah, they'll. Uh, they have access to the uh, to stream, of course, and they'll re they'll rewatch this, you know, later in the week and analyze it and 
you know, slow it down and run some replays through it. So they'll uh, they'll watch this again and again and see where the key moments were and the key players. But yeah, nothing to be disappointed with there. I mean, 2-0 could have gone either way, really. Just those bad luck.